Right, let's have a look around this, uh, well, rather nice in my opinion, 2006, so one of the very, very last um, TD5s. This one's a Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 station wagon. It's a genuine station wagon, not a conversion from a van. As I say, 2006, so one of the very, very last. Finished in Cairns Blue with a white roof. Um, Spec-wise, it's got boost alloys on it with a matching set of four Grabber All-Terrain 2s. I haven't checked the spare. Um, as you can see, the back of the spare says it, I can see General, so I presume it's a General Grabber as well. Um, it's got excess side steps on it. Also fitted from new with the uh, cold climate pack, so it's got heated front seats and uh, heated front screen. It's got the twin bench seats in the back, which are correct for a station wagon. This is not a county station wagon or an excess. This is effectively the base model station wagon. So if you like your Defenders a little bit more traditional without all the uh, bells and whistles on, um, this one is uh, probably for you. Personally, I prefer them without the bell bells and whistles because so we've had to replace far too many ABS pumps on XS models and they cost uh, over a thousand pounds to do. So uh, I tend to like these uh, these nice simple ones that are a bit more to the ethos of a Defender, if you ask me. But only my personal opinion. Looks really nice in Cairns Blue, this one. Now, excellent provenance. Um, it was Barrett's of Ashford's demonstrator for the first three months of its life. And then they sold it to a lady who's owned it basically ever since until it's uh, just come to us. Um, really full service history. Uh, it's got the lot. Um, new rear cross member, I think, fitted last year from memory, according to the history. Um, it's serviced, been serviced to the gills and it's, it's lovely. Really is nice. And almost completely original. Um, whether it was fitted from new with those side steps, hard to say, because they are in really good condition. Normally you'd expect after uh, 14 years them to be looking a little bit uh, bit ropey, but um, who knows. But they are the excess style side steps. Anyway, let's walk, walk around it and pick out some good bits and bad bits. There are one or two minor dinks in it, um, but it's a Defender, so it carries them well. Um, that's what they're for. So anyway, so Cairns Blue Paint looks really good. We have got around the front end a very, very slight dink just there in the front of the offside front wing. Hasn't broken the paint though. It's very slight. Paint on the bonnet is lovely. A couple of tiny depressions in the wing tops. Um, this is what happens when you don't fit checker plate. Personally, I prefer them without checker plate, but uh, that's one of the excuses for fitting it is that you don't, uh, don't put dinks in the tops of the wings because it's only aluminium. Um, front bumper all looks good. And around the front end here, again, we've got a couple of slight depressions in the near side front wing slight misshapen down here and we've got a, a dent there which again hasn't broken the paint might a proper paint uh, specialist might be able to get that out uh, a aluminium body specialist and another dink just there which again may come out it's on the barrel side so it may not but uh, who knows anyway i say it's a defender and you really shouldn't worry about uh, about dents on them if you do you're probably not a true defender owner um, a bit contentious, I know, but that's what I think. Chassis under the near side front corner there. Up here on the scuttle corner, it's all pretty good there. Tiny bit of bubbling just on the screen block just there, but not excessive. A um, couple of chips in the screen. There's one just there and one over the far side, but it's outside of the MOTable area and it's only a chip as well. Um, roof is all nice, A post is all nice, all the bolts are in excellent shape, unusually good. Um, near side front door again has got a slight dink in the barrel side just there. A um, little bit of paint loss just under here, just some people opening it with rings and stuff on. Um, interior wise, really rather nice. Headlining is just starting to bow a little bit at the back. Um, it's it's the, the sort of the cardboard backed headlining. The whole sort of cardboard is losing its rigidity a little bit, but it's not excessive and it's not not horrendous. In the front, headlining's all good. Dash is all nice. It's got the centre cubby box, driver's seat, all good. Dash. It's got the original stereo. Passenger seat has lost a bit of its foam support just here on the uh, inside of the bolster. Probably it's been swapped with the driver's one, I should think, because they are interchangeable. 
Um, and this one's got the full easy clean interior. You can just hose it out as long as you're careful. A um, little bit of wear on the seat box edge trim there, but again, that's normal. Door cards are nice and it's got the later type doors on, which don't um, don't rust in the same way as the, uh, the earlier doors, but all very good there. Near side rear wing, we've got a little bit of paint touch up work just here, just above the tub top trim, uh, right at the very back. Otherwise, near side rear wing looks good. Let's have a look underneath here. As you can see, chassis wise, Super Gaz, fairly new looking rear shock absorbers. And it has, say, recently had a new rear cross member on it. Around the tail end, a few tiny chips just around here on the base of the door. We could have cleaned that cross member a bit better, I must admit. Um, but go up there, let's have a look inside, again in the back, it's got the twin bench seats with seat belts, you can see that headlining a bit better now, so it's just starting to bow a bit just there, but so it's the cardboard back one, it's not, um, it's not a tent, like a, a Range Rover or something, as I say, nice new bolts along the bottom edge there, and all the cross member, all looks to be rather nice and the door card I really like this really like this um, looking down the offside very very straight down there offside rear wing possibly had a bit of paint touch up work on the edge of the tub top trim here and we've got a little bit of electrolytic reaction just starting just up there Otherwise, the offside rear wing all looks very good. Again, let's have a look underneath here. Carrying on round, offside, offside door, we've got a couple of paint chips that have been touched in there, just on the top of the barrel side. Usual paint loss on the modesty cover. Um, again, that's why people fit um, checker plates to the modesty covers because they always get paint loss there from people getting in and out. Offside front wing, we talked about that. Scuttle corner, looking down there. Yeah, there's the other chip. Looks like it's been filled actually. And then on the inside, could have need to clean those door cards a bit, uh, bit more. Again, tiny bit of wear just on the edge of the seat box uh, trim, the vinyl trim. But driver's seat all in good shape, dash all very nice, um, centre cubby box all very nice. Yeah we could have cleaned it a little bit better here and there but we're racing against time to get it photographed before the rain comes in again so I wanted to get it outside and uh, photograph and video it. As I say it is 2006, uh, less than 75,000 miles, one lady owner since it was three months old it's cracking. I really like it. Anyway, my name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com. End.